Hi, I'm John Flargo, Senior Vice President here at the American Chiropractic Association, here with my colleague Jack Dusick. We're coming to you today from the ACA headquarters in Arlington, Virginia, just across the river from Washington. And Jack, what's been going on, what we've been talking to members about, of course, is uh, the issue that we've been fighting for for a long time is further integration into the Veterans uh, Health Service Network. Right now we've got uh, doctors of chiropractic at about 70 sites around the country and we're looking uh, to increase that. Why don't we talk a little bit about that? Sure thing, John. Uh, the bills uh, we have in the House and Senate uh, are being looked at, we believe, by the committees. Uh, Senator Moran, of course, our sponsor, uh, along with Senator Blumenthal, and over in the House, uh, Congressman Julia Brownlee. Uh, over the summertime, uh, SACA had made some calls to uh, engage people uh, to get on the bill. Uh, we saw some co-sponsors uh, pick up over, over that time. Uh, we are hopeful that as they continue to work through what appears to be some sort of veterans package uh, for late fall, that uh, our bill will, will continue to be included in the legislation as it has in the past. Yeah, right. The last time we talked to you, we, we talked a little bit about uh, Senator Jerry Moran from Kansas, who is our spearheading the our effort uh, in the Senate. He's uh, been very out front on this issue. He is he's looking to to get it in several different bills that in order to move it, he really uh, he's really been uh, a champion for us on this entire effort. And like you said, hopefully uh, this fall we'll see something uh, in a bill that will, uh, will, will pass the House and the Senate. Let's talk, uh, let's uh, turn gears a little bit and talk a little bit the, about the National Equality Medicare petition, something we've been working on now for about two years. This is something that we are looking to gain uh, momentum in, in order to change the current Medicare uh, system or, or how it applies to, to chiropractic patients. As you know, really it's a limited benefit right now. Our campaign is hopefully geared toward getting that changed. And let's talk a little bit about that. Sure thing. So as you mentioned, about two years ago, we, we, we kicked this off. Uh, policy decision was made that because the benefit in Medicare is, is so constricting that we wanted to uh, have full scope of practice uh, for physicians there. Uh, sort of derailed a little bit with the elections and the health care reform and the back and forth and now that they seem to have moved to tax reform that gives us time to continue to push our health care agenda in congress which would be uh, medicare and while uh, it's not quite ripe for uh, introduction over there certainly uh, we want to continue to show support so uh, we would encourage you guys to sign up and tell your friends and family and chiropractic supporters to sign a petition so you can send a strong message to congress yeah, it's very important that you get your your patients, your family, your friends to sign this petition. We have to, we have to start moving these numbers here. It, it's 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 one that's going. It's been going on for for quite some time now, uh, but we still need the effort. We still need those names. We still need you to be engaged. You'll see right uh, on the screen now, you'll see that the website uh, where to go, uh, where you can uh, find out more information on this and how to sign up uh, your patients, family, and friends and help us in this campaign. This will be going on for quite some time more, I believe. Uh, until we get the job done, this is going to be an active campaign. So we ask you all to please participate, drive up those numbers, and let Congress know that this is something that has to be done immediately for your patients. Jack, thank you very much. John. We'll see you soon.